Alright, today we're going to be replacing the engine coolant temperature sensor on this 2016 Chevy Equinox. Now the process we go through here today is going to be the same or similar on a lot of other vehicles, especially those GM vehicles with a 2.4 four-cylinder Ecotech engine. So even if you don't have a 2016 Chevy Equinox, uh, watch the video, it may help you out, okay? What I'm going to do first is kind of run through the process of diagnosing uh, this problem uh, so you know whether or not you need to change it out, okay? Let's take a quick look. All right, so in terms of uh, diagnosing this issue, you'll notice that the radiator fan is running high all the time, even after we shut the vehicle off, and I'll show you that. The vehicle's been running for several minutes, and my temperature gauge is registering nothing, okay? It's radon C, cold, all right? Now, if you have access to a code scanner, um, we're throwing several codes. Although the check engine light is not on, uh, we are able to read several codes. We're showing that the engine coolant temperature sensor uh, circuit is intermittent. We also have engine coolant temperature uh, below thermostat registering temperature. Okay, so we have a couple of codes relating to the uh, ECT. All right, and let's go ahead and shut the vehicle off. And you can see that the uh, radiator fan continues to run and it's going to run like this for several minutes because the ECU recognizes that there's a problem it doesn't know what the engine temperature is and as a safety precaution it just runs the engine uh, of the radiator fan rather uh, to ensure that the engine hasn't overheated or isn't overheating okay the part we're going to get to is back here okay in a very similar location to the camshaft position sensor that we changed out a couple of years ago and I have a video on that incidentally. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, remove this and this and see if I can get you a shot of it and we'll get it replaced. All right, let me wait for this thing to stop running and then we'll get started. All right, so as mentioned, we're going to go ahead and remove this intake cover. We've got a clamp here we've got to loosen up. We've got this tube here that'll pull right out. And then we've got another clamp right down here on the throttle body and I'm pointing uh, my nut driver at it right there okay let's go ahead and get this thing pulled off all right we're just gonna go ahead and loosen this up and again if you've watched my uh, exhaust cam shaft position sensor video then this is a kind of a repeat okay we're just gonna gently pull on this wiggle it pulls right out all right I'm probably not gonna be able to show you this one here because my hands gonna be right in the way but you get the idea. All right, I'm just gonna reach in the back here, give a little pull. Pull that right up and out of the way. All right, now what I'm gonna do here is just uh, put a rag in this throttle body here. We don't wanna, we don't wanna drop anything down in there, okay? We don't want debris or any tools falling down in there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and pull this off. To do that, I'm gonna remove the oil fill cap here. Okay, same deal. I'm just gonna go ahead and reach back here, and pull up, pull up, pull up. Let's go ahead and replace our oil fill cap. Same reason, we don't wanna drop anything down in there. All right, now we have a, a really good view of the back of the engine. So what I'm gonna do is try to get a light down in there and see if I can show you where this thing is first and then we'll go ahead and get it changed out. I'm just gonna pull the cap here and release any pressure. The engine was running out for a little while, okay? That's just gonna help, I don't know if you heard it, but it's gonna help ensure that we don't, uh, you know, make a bigger mess than we need to, all right? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. What we're looking for, is a foil insulator, okay? And uh, I think you can see it right there, all right? So there is a little bit of play on that uh, insulator. A little wiggle room there. Let me see if I can position my hand down there and feel for the, uh, the clip to release that. There it is, okay? Just got it. Give you a little shot of it here. You're not gonna be able to see much, but okay, we'll leave that right there. All right, now on the new uh, part, it was a three-quarter inch 
socket. So I've got a three quarter inch deep well, okay, and a very short extension. I'm gonna see if I can get that placed on there securely first. And see if I can feel it, it's right there. You probably can't see any of this, I realize. Okay. Get my ratchet positioned here. Gently break it free. I can spin it by hand, but I can't grab a hold of it. So we're just going to go ahead and use the socket and the extension. We'll do the same thing when we install it. We definitely don't want to cross thread it. So, all right. And we'll make a quick comparison here to ensure that we have the uh, right part and they do indeed look the same. Let's go ahead and get the new one installed. All right, so I felt around a little bit and uh, here's part of the problem is it was just difficult to get straight in on it and it sets into the engine a little bit, okay? Um, if you drop it into your deep well, it drops in too far. Okay, and all the, sh the shallow sockets I have don't make it to the nut because of this. So here's what we're going to do, or at least what I'm going to try. I'm just going to add a little spacer to my socket. Okay, that happens to be a three-quarter close to it. That's going to allow us to get onto the sensor, but ex leave the threads exposed. Okay, so hopefully this will work. Um, and obviously when you start threading this in, get it threaded in as far by hand as you can before you put the ratchet to it and make sure that it's not cross-threaded. All right, let's reposition and see if we can get this thing installed. Okay, I feel good about that. I can feel the resistance of the uh, thread uh, seal. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ratchet to it. All right, and after we uh, get done with this, what you're gonna wanna do run the vehicle, uh, and then top off your antifreeze. We did lose a little bit, not much, but um, obviously the faster you do it, the less you'll lose. And uh, releasing the pressure was a good thing. Okay, you don't wanna, don't wanna go crazy with it. You don't wanna break anything, but you don't want it to fall out, okay? Okay, I'm right there. We're just gonna snug it up. Incidentally, I'll link to this part and the code scanner I'm using in case you're interested uh, in the uh, description below. All right, so incidentally, you're going to be lining up these little rubber grommets with posts, okay? We're going to go ahead and remove our oil fill cap. Just going to reach back, make sure I get them lined up here. Push down, one, two, three, okay? And four, all right? Okay, same deal here. We've got two posts back here, two rubber grommets. And obviously you're gonna line the, the front up with the throttle body. Incidentally, I'll be doing a throttle body cleaning on this here. I notice it's kind of dirty, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Just give it a rock. Okay, we'll tighten down our clamps. And again, with these, you don't want to go animal. You don't want them to uh, break, but you also want to make sure that you have a good seal. You know, when the engine vibrates and so forth, you don't want that to be loose, okay? Last thing to do, this tube here just popped back in, all right? What I'm gonna do now is uh, start the vehicle, see if we register a temperature, and uh, if we do, then obviously it's working, all right? All right, let's see where we're at. And we're showing a temperature. All right. 
So it wasn't too bad, all in all. I think removing uh, the plastic here was worth it. And also one thing we noticed, that the uh, radiator fan is not even on, okay? So there we go. If you like this video, please give me that thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Uh, YouTube's dropping my channel like a hot rock because I'm not uh, posting many videos, but I'm gonna go ahead and start posting more uh, so they don't dump me. But uh, if you like this video and you wanna see more of this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button for me, okay? That helps me out also. And I uh, hope you have a great day. Leave questions in the comments down below and take care. Thanks for watching.